Hey, how's it going? I just wanted to give you the scoop about what I've been hearing about what's going on with Turkey Point. I've been talking with some locals and I actually talked to a researcher. He's actually, they're sending him out from a major university to do studies on the water at Turkey Point and he's going to be testing some of the wildlife. And he's even said it himself that this has been totally hush hush. And he's scared to eat anything local himself. And he told me he's going to be wearing a lead suit and a mask. Breathing apparatus. He's going to be completely covered. He's not taking any chances. That doesn't sound good. And then I had another guy that I was talking to that he's a maintenance worker. And he goes by Turkey Point. He could see who's looking into the water. He saw about three feet of foam uh, right around Turkey Point. There's somebody who I talked to who explained to me what that foam could be. And not only could it be waste byproducts from Turkey Point, but it could be also dead phytoplankton. That's not good. And I want to do, get an update from him regarding those results that he's going to be turning into the university. And I asked him if we could do a nominous interview. So hopefully he, he gives me a call back. I think he will. And um, I still want to go out there. Like I said, there's an open air bar restaurant, Fresh Catch, about two and a half miles away from Turkey Point. Uh, right, right around from the plant. Nobody's testing. It's it's very quiet. You really don't hear about it. I mean, it, it popped up in the news one day, but it's in the news, and then, you know, next thing you know, some little thing just ticks it right off the radar, and then boom, everybody starts forgetting again. It's the sadness that we live with, the knowledge that we live with, that the area that we live in is contaminated with radiation, and since people can't see it, they can't smell it, they can't taste it, unless it's a crazy amount, they don't see the danger. It's really hard to uh, to get people to realize to see the danger without them actually seeing it, witnessing it, feeling it. Uh, these past couple weeks have been really rough on me. I, I've been sick. I had to even go to the doctor. I hate going to doctors, but I had to. So they put me on meds and they said my immune system was really down. And uh, I'm feeling better, thank God. But it, it was, uh, I couldn't even sleep for days. I wouldn't sleep. And just like huge pains on my right side. So I called out of work for about a week and a half. Surprised I'm still even having a job. But at this point, you know, I, <laughs> if I lose my job, it's not such a bad thing because I can, you know, I can start planning, you know, maybe getting out of here because there's no future here. There's no future in Miami. What future is there? A future filled with radiation. I've, I've tried to look around when you look around at a map of the United States. It's really hard where you can find a place that's 100 miles away from or more from a nuclear facility. And, you know, here I am 20 miles away from potentially the hottest nuclear plant in the United States and that's a reality it's it's just as bad or worse than Sanofi or Indian Point I mean when you've actually had scientists come out and say 212 times above normal tritium limits and we all know tritium is a tracer so when there's tritium out there there's much more than just tritium so there's no future here There's no future with nuclear. The only future is mutation. Mutation, pain, suffering. And it's always going to be blamed on something else. Because they can always mimic a radiation exposure with another sickness. I mean, I can't prove the reason why I got sick, my immune system was down, was turkey point. But I feel it. My instinct tells me that that was a big reason why. You know, my boss is sick, bronchitis, bronchitis, everybody's got bronchitis, coughing, sneezing. 
girlfriend's been coughing for two months. Baby coughing. You know, the kids. They're so much more sensitive to radiation. Tens of times at least. Hundreds of times probably. It's got to stop. Take care.